Hey yogis, I'm Sarah and thanks for joining me for today's Chill Out Flow. This practice is perfect for those days where you need to switch off and slow things down. Together, we'll focus on releasing tension in those stiff areas and calm the mind to help you create balance, relax and restore. This class it can be practiced at any time of the day and it's perfectly suitable for all levels. Starting today in a comfortable seated position with the legs crossed, sitting up nice and tall. I'm going to start some gentle neck rolls just to release any tension in the shoulders or the back of the neck or up into the head. So maybe if you want, you can begin by closing the eyes just to completely let go of the day so far or the night's sleep you just had. Just let it all go. Gently begin to drop your right ear towards your right shoulder. Just allow the shoulders to become heavy. Allow the head to hang heavy. And just feeling a nice stretch through the left side of the neck. And gently begin to tilt the head forward, looking down towards the knees and rolling the head towards the opposite side until your left ear comes to rest towards your left shoulder. Just hold there for a moment, drop both shoulders. Notice how this side of the neck feels. And gently begin to tilt the head down rolling over towards the right very slowly with as much control and awareness rolling the head down begin to sink with your breath so on the inhale you bring the ear to rest towards the shoulder on the exhale you tilt the head down inhale drawing up Exhale, release back down. Inhale, lift. And exhale, release down. Inhale, last one. Exhale. And inhale, gently, softly bring the head back up to center. If you want, you can try and keep your eyes closed for most of this practice or just open the eyes when you need to have a little look for more instruction. We're going to bring our hands, interlace our fingers towards the back of the head. So we're going to come and rest very gently towards the back of the head as you begin to round the spine and drop the gaze. So you want to allow the arms just to create a bit more space through the back body. Allowing the arms to become heavy, elbows drop down towards each other. Feeling a really deep opening, deep stretch through the spine, up through the back of the neck. Inhale, gently begin to lengthen through the spine, sitting up nice and tall, open the elbows nice and wide. Maybe begin to bring the gaze towards the sky. Exhale, soften and round. Let the elbows rest in towards each other. And inhale, lift and lengthen. Feeling a nice opening through the chest into the armpits. On the inhale, and then as you exhale, drop and release. Feeling that nice deep stretch through the back body. Inhale, lift and lengthen. Lovely. Exhale around. And release the last one. Inhale, lift and lengthen. And exhale, round and release. Lovely, come back up to center, release the arms down. We're gonna plant our left hand down onto the mat. Inhale, as you begin to draw the right arm over towards the left side of the room. You can either stay high up on the left hand or drop down onto the elbow just depending on the space in your body today. So keep your awareness on your right hip. You really want to feel it rooted, grounding deep into the mat. So you extend through the right arm, 
you lengthen through the side body. Maybe look down towards the mat or stay looking out in front of you or if it feels okay, look towards the sky. Try to keep the front body as open as much as you can. It allows for more space, opening up, stretching through the body, releasing any tension. As you send the inhale deep into the right lung, feeling with each breath the body open a little bit more. Gently come back up to your center. You use your left hand to press yourself up and come over to the opposite side. So drop down onto the right hand. Begin to bring the left hand over towards the right, stretching through that left side body. Again, bring your gaze to where it feels right for you today. Maybe close the eyes. Draw and keep the awareness inside the body as you notice the sensations. Really connect with how everything feels. Use this time to switch off, switch your awareness to inside the body. Lifting and opening through the chest. You want to collapse down, you want to keep this nice space that we're creating. And notice how this side of the body feels from the last. Noticing if you've more space, so it's a little bit tighter, a little bit more tense. Inhale, gently press yourself back up tree center. So coming forward, staying with your legs and cross like a seated position. Coming forward, so we're a long ways on the mat. Inhale as you find and keep that space through the spine. And exhale, walk the arms forward. You might stay high up on your hands here just to begin with. Keep the hips nice and heavy. So you want to feel the sitting bones really sinking deep into the mat. Inhale, lift and lengthen through the spine. And exhale, release down. So maybe you drop down onto your forearms. Maybe you stay high on the hands. Just allow yourself to soften and sink a little bit deeper into the pose. Keeping your awareness on each breath. Notice how the lower back feels. Noticing the hips. Inhale, begin to lift and lengthen. So if your forearms are down on the mat, we're going to begin to lift them and look forward. Exhale, gently release. Allow yourself to sink a little bit deeper down. Inhale, lift and lengthen. Exhale, release. Inhale, lift and lengthen. See if you can maybe walk the fingertips a little bit more forward on the mat. Create more space through the side body. Exhale, begin to soften down. Inhale, lift and lengthen, stretching the arms forward. Exhale, release down. Last one, lift and lengthen. Exhale, soften. Now we'll walk the hands back and towards the body and make our way into tabletop. From here, we're going to make our way into puppy pose. So from tabletop, keeping the knees in line under the hips, we're going to walk the hands forward and gently begin to melt the chest down towards the mat. So you can rest down onto your chin or onto the forehead, just where it feels good to you today. Now stretching through the body, creating more space. Letting go of that tension, any stiffness in the shoulders. Feeling a nice lift into the armpits. And inhale, begin to look forward, lifting the forehead away from the mat. And then exhale, soften back down just to see if you can sink the chest a little bit deeper. Feeling this nice opening through the back of the body and into the front, into the chest. It's 
such a great pose if you hold a lot of stiffness, a lot of tension into the shoulders. It's great to stretch that out. Taking one final breath. And gently begin to lift the forehead away from the mat and walk the hands back in into tabletop. Make our way into down dog from here. So possibly the first down dog of the day. So we want to keep our knees deeply bent. So spread the fingertips nice and wide. So you want to really ground down into each finger. So we're not collapsing straight into our wrists, but we're keeping the weight into the fingers. Tuck the toes under, and then we're going to begin to lift our knees off the mat, keeping them deeply bent as we send the hips towards the back of the room. Make sure you're holding no tension in your neck. Maybe shake your head left and right. Keep the knees bent, send the hips high. Open through the shoulders. Maybe begin to pedal out the legs, dropping the weight into one heel at a time. Moving slowly. With awareness. As we stretch and open through the backs of the legs. We lengthen through the spine. After your next exhale, come high up onto the balls of your feet. And then exhale, drop the heels towards the mat. Inhale, coming high up onto the balls of the feet, stretching into the toes. Exhale, release. Once again, come high up onto the toes. See if you can get a little bit deeper this time into the toes. And drop down. And last one, back up onto the toes. And release and soften down. Begin to bend deeply into the right knee so you'll feel a really deep stretch into the back of the left leg, up deep into the hip. Breathe into that opening and switch sides. Bend into the left, straighten through the right, allow the right heel to drop towards the mat. Feel that lovely opening. Opposite side, drop the left heel, bend into the right knee. And drop into the left. And gently come back to your downward facing dog. Drop down onto your knees. We're going to sweep the legs over and make our way onto our back. Very gently, with much awareness. We're going to come down onto our back. Lying down, take a moment here. Maybe you want to hug your knees in towards the belly. Rock side to side. Just release any tension in the hips. And plant both feet onto the mat. Gonna make our way shortly into bridge pose. Just gonna work on releasing the lower back first. So lengthen your spine down on the mat. Rest your hands just onto the lower part of your belly. Just gonna do some very gentle pelvic tilts just to begin with, just to really become aware of how the lower back feels. So walk your heels slightly close towards your body. So you can almost graze your heels with your fingertips. Rest your hands back onto the belly and very gently begin to tilt the pelvis forward. As you tilt the pelvis forward, you should feel the lower spine begin to peel away from the mat. So there's a nice space between the lower spine and the mat that you could maybe put your hand under. Just to notice that's your pelvis tilting forward. Then as your pelvis tilts back, you begin to flatten your spine onto the mat. So it fully imprints. Inhale, tilt forward. Exhale, tilting back. Inhale, tilt forward. Exhale, tilt back. Begin to move at your own breath. And just notice how the lower back feels. Noticing the spine, noticing any tension, any stiffness to the hips, to the lower back or the pelvis area. Such a nice pose just to do, just to wake up and release. Tilting forward and back. I'm going to make our way into bridge pose from here. So plant your hands down onto the mat. Make sure your shoulder blades are under the body. Begin to lift the hips 
away from the mat, coming up into bridge pose. So tucking the pelvis under, engaging through the glutes, lifting the hips high, and we're sending our awareness, we're sending our energy down through the body, down towards the knees, grounding through both feet evenly, pressing into all four corners of the feet, lift the hips high, remember to breathe, and then as we exhale, we softly release. We're going to release down one vertebrae at a time. So very, very slowly begin to release down towards the mat. Flatten the spine fully on the release and tilt the pelvis forward and then tilt the pelvis back. We'll make our way back into our bridge pose. Lift the hips away from the mat, sending them high. Maybe you can send them a little bit higher. Maybe not. Maybe this is perfectly fine for you. If you do want to take a little bit deeper and lift the hips a little bit higher, maybe coming up onto the shoulder blades, interlacing the fingers, bringing the arms behind the back. Remembering to engage through the glutes. And breathe. One more breath. Gently and softly begin to release the spine down towards the mat. Hug the knees into the belly. Squeezing in. Rock side to side. Maybe beginning to draw circles with the knees. So we're massaging out the lower spine. Rocking the other way, in the opposite direction. Taking hold of the right knee with both hands, we're just going to plant the left foot onto the mat. From here, we're going to make our way into half happy baby. So begin to bend up the knee as the sole of the right foot points up towards the sky. Taking hold of the outside of the right foot, if you can't quite get there, if your knee's a little bit too around here rough enough that you can't get a good grip of the foot. You can always just take hold of the ankle or down towards the back of the knee. We just want to try and guide that knee down towards the armpit. So wherever you are in your happy baby, you can rest that left hand onto the left hip. Just for a sense of grounding with the hips. You could drop the left knee over towards the left. Get a deeper opening into the pelvis. Or for the deepest opening, you could extend the left leg long away from the body on the mat. And wherever you are, just seeing if you can create more space with the breath. And the exhale, see if you can release and sink a little bit deeper. And gently bring the legs back up. Plant the sole of the left foot onto the mat and hug that right knee in towards the body. We're going to hinge the right knee and plant the ankle, the right ankle on top of the left knee. So your legs come into a figure four shape from here. Lovely. You can stay here with the legs as they are, or if you want to take a little bit deeper, you can begin to draw the legs towards the body, interlace the fingers behind that left leg and see if you can draw them a little bit closer. And just rest here. It's a really deep hip opener. So just notice how this feels. It's a lovely stretch. Maybe as you hold for a few breaths, you can Go a little bit deeper. You can draw the legs a little bit closer towards the body. Lovely release. Keep the legs as they are. Just begin to drop the sole of the left foot down onto the mat. We're going to shift the hips slightly towards the right and begin to drop the right foot, sole of the right foot down onto the mat. Coming into a twist from here. So you can extend the arms long away from the body. We're bringing the arms into cactus pose, bending up the elbows, palms face towards the sky. Maybe begin to look over towards the right. 
And from here, just really soften and chill out and let go. Now let's focus on the breath as we twist, we unwind, and we release. Let go of anything at all we're holding on to, anything negative, anything that stresses us out, any worries. Just imagining that we're rinsing through our body, we're squeezing and letting it all go. Inhale, and exhale, gently bring the legs back up tree center. Hug the right knee back into the belly and hug the left. And move into the opposite side. So keep hold of the left knee and plant the right foot down onto the mat. And squeeze that left knee in. And from here, make our way into our half happy baby. Take hold of the outside of the left foot or to whatever you can. Bend into the knee and reach the sole of the foot up towards the sky. So we want to Imagine that we're dropping with each breath, the left knee down deeper towards the mat. Maybe keeping the right foot planted or extending it long, just like you did on the opposite side. And just notice if the side feels in any way different from the last. The hips are a little bit tighter, and maybe the more released. We always tend to hold our tension, hold our stiffness, deeper on one side of the body. Just notice which side that is for you. It's all about becoming aware of where we are. Begin to draw the right foot back up towards the mat if it was long. Begin to bend into the knee, hinging, planting. The left ankle onto the right knee. Making our way back into that figure four shape with the legs. Either staying here, lovely if you're here, rest your hands on the lower part of the belly. Or if you want to take it deeper, interlace the fingers behind the right leg and draw the knees in towards the body. Lovely, draw the awareness in the breath. And like we did on the opposite side, really allow yourself to release and soften and take this time for you. Nothing else matters right now. Just how you're feeling in your physical body. And gently begin to release, sew the right foot down onto the mat, keep the legs as they are, shift the hips a little bit over towards the left, just for enough space so you can drop the legs down towards the mat, trying to keep the left knee pointing towards the sky. Don't worry if it drops down. Once you're in a twist, that feels good for your body. That's all that matters. Bring your arms out into cactus or long away from the body. Maybe begin to look towards the left and just let it all go. Release any tension you're holding in your jaw. Soften at the muscles of the forehead. Allowing the fingers to naturally begin to crease and bend. Allow the hips to become heavy. And gently begin to bring your legs back up through center. And hugging the knees in towards the body, giving them a nice embrace as we thank the body for helping us and guiding us through our class. Maybe rocking side to side just for one final little massage of the spine. This can feel so good after a class just to make sure we let go of every little bit of tension. And then, once you're ready, we're going to begin to extend our legs long on the mat. Standing long, extend your arms long away from the body. So you want your palms to face towards the sky and nestle the shoulder blades under the body. Make yourself nice and comfortable here. 
If you brought a blanket or a pillow, it's a great time to use it now. We're setting ourselves up for our Shavasana. And just begin to switch off the body. Letting go. Release everything out. I'm going to leave you here in your Shavasana. I encourage you to stay as long as you can and just work on chilling out and letting go for as long as you have. I want to say thank you very much for joining me today. I hope you feel a little bit more calm, a little bit more chilled. Namaste.